Welcome everyone to today's video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get an exact replica of your apple tree. And in order to really get the same fruit that you guys ate from like the grocery store or whatever, you really need the exact copy of the plant that was taken from. So instead of seeds where you don't really know what pollinated what, and I mean you, you're going to get an apple tree, but you're not going to know what kind of fruit. So this is uh, what today's video is all about. It's showing you guys how to take cuttings from those apple trees and getting them to grow, um, you know, just like your tree that you got right now. So this is a cutting from a, so this is actually a snowdrift apple tree. Uh, it's a type of crab apple, but it gets really, really pretty blooms, all white in the spring. And I'm going to show you where to actually cut this tree. But first I'm going to show you what I'm using to root the tree. Um, today I'm going to use a fast root. It's just a powder, okay, and it's got a hormone in there. It's going to help us uh, get more successful on not germination because we're not growing from seeds, but successful roots. Um, on your hard to root stuff, you can also use a product called Clonex. Um, I love this. Uh, I've pr I've actually uh, rooted uh, forest pansy redbud trees from this, so this is a good product as well. Uh, apple trees are pretty easy to get rooted, so that's why I'm going with the uh, fast root uh, powder today. And first thing I want to do though is uh, make sure that I've disinfected my pruners. Just going to use some rubbing alcohol to do that. Paper towel. Put a little bit on the paper towel. Just a little bit. And just wipe those down. We don't want to transfer any sort of disease. We want to infect the plant if we can. Uh, if we can prevent that. That's all we need to do. So there we go. All right, it's very important that you're going to take a piece of new growth off your branch. Um, the branch down here is probably two to three years old on this part. So what we want to do is you can actually take one of these side this is a new growth, this is a piece of new growth here, but I'm gonna take from the tip. I always like taking from the very tip. You can actually see the bud on there. So depending on you know the size of cutting that you want to take, you can take the cutting all the way down to here or so. But it'll be more successful on the smaller the cutting. Okay? So what I do is I'm gonna take about, I don't know, five inches here. I'm going to cut an angle in between the buds. And you can see there's a bud right there, bud there, and the tip even has buds coming up from the tip. So this is a very good piece of cutting. This is kind of what you want to look for when you're doing this. Um, you know, you can, uh, let's see, let me see if I got one, razor blade. Razor blade, same idea. If you're going to be using a razor blade, you want to disinfect this as well. But I'm going to show you a couple things here. Sometimes I've found that uh, just sort of just scraping off the bottom, you know, it's getting the outside layer. It's not really the bark. It's just the outside layer, fibers off that and just kind of roughing it up will help. It'll help aid in the uh, root making process. But something like that, it doesn't have to be down to the green. That always helps. The key is we're going to target these buds here because that's where our roots are going to start to grow from. All right. We want the chemical to go into the plant, but then our roots are probably going to form from these two buds here can see that okay all right so our next step is we don't need to get it wet it's a fresh cutting so I'm gonna dip this in our rooting hormone knock off the excess don't breathe this in really don't want to get it on your skin let me get it up to that second one there Okay, we've knocked the excess off and there it is. So this is ready to be planted guys. So what we're going to do is next step. Um, 
If you've got a sandy mix, uh, you can go out and get construction sand at like Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards. They've got those in packages. Actually, um, if you've used um, the weights on a pickup truck, that sand inside there is construction sand. It's a little bit thicker, um, almost like beach sand up here in the Great Lakes. That just, looks just like our beach sand up here. Um, but you want to get it that way. Um, you. I've got, I've met, I've better success, let me put it this way, I have better success using that sand to root things than really any soil or anything. But at this point, we're ready to put it and plant it in the soil. Okay, stick it in there. Fill up the soil around, you know, filling up this container. And, you know, you should have, keep it watered, of course, all the normal stuff like a plant. Um, and you should have roots starting to grow here in a couple weeks. So. That's all there is to it, guys. We're just cloning an apple tree, uh, any sort of fruit tree, orange tree, lemon tree, that you want to get the exact fruit from that tree, this is the way to do it, uh, rather than growing from seeds. So hopefully this guys helps, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and as a community, we'll answer those, and I will get to them as fast as I can. So this is the way that I clone my apple trees, guys. We'll talk to you in the next video.